Today I'm in Glasgow City Centre looking at George Square where World War Z, the new zombie film of Brad Pitt, is setting up. We'll give you a peek at what's going on. Welcome to a very special edition of the Chairbook. We're here, we're at George Square where they're filming World War Z with uh, Brad Pitt. Uh, we've got everyone together to look at the The wind got a bit loud there so I'm just pointing out the American traffic lights and the new place names and road and road names like John F. Kennedy Boulevard there. So over the next few days, they're going to be turning George Square into a real American uh, street which is going to have zombies and Brad Pitt running right over it. So do you know, you can see, one of the cars have been all moved into position here. All these fake cars have been imported. God, no, it's out. They might have even got all these pulled up walkers in their hand. Um, you can see like all the yellow taxis, yellow taxis, American taxis. And as any of you who knows Cherry will know, one of the most important things ever is food. Look, even American food. Hot dogs, hot dogs, look, 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 look. We got hot dogs. Typical thing. Pretzels. Pretzels, the, not, not our pretzels, but the, the, the huge, big, ridiculous pretzels. And. It's bright. Here we are, line of police cars in front of us, not often I'm going to see that, pretty good, pretty exciting. For a long time since Glasgow, even Scotland seen anything like this, so it's so good to finally see some brilliant filmmaking going on here. And like, you know, Brad Pitt, proper Hollywood thing, but of course, inevitably, it's not set in Glasgow, it's set in Philadelphia. And just now they're starting to use Scotland instead of America because of tax breaks, I think. But anyway, this is great. It's, there's a real buzz here, everybody's flying around trying to find, find things and getting excited about things. So. Uh, hopefully there will be more to report uh, back to you in the next couple of days. I'll come back with more, perhaps in the future. See you around.